be bringing the arms down out to the side. Bring them all the way down in front of you. Exhale, extend them back up. Bring them down, extend them back up. Down, exhale up. Bring them down, exhale up. Down and up. Last time, bring them down, bring them up. Now, I want you to do exactly the same thing, except this time we're coming down into a squat. And remember those squats? Hips go back, we bend the knees. Make sure you push those hips back. I might not be able to see everybody, but we want hips back, not knees coming forward. So here we go, let's take those arms up. Come on, we're gonna squat it down. Bring it up, push those hips back, we're up. Squat those hips all the way back. Make sure those knees go no further than your toes. Up. Let's stretch a little higher this time. Take the arms all the way up. Come all the way down. Let's see how low we can squat it down. Bring it up. Don't be afraid. Squat it down and up and hold. Right here. Good job. I want you to take your hands out to the side of your head. And your elbows should be up in line with your shoulders. And we're just gonna turn, that's all. We're just gonna rotate the body. We're gonna turn to the left, and then we're gonna turn to the right, turn to the left, and then turn to the right. I need you to keep those elbows out wide and rotate around. Just two more times. This is our last time, rotate, 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 and then come back to the center. And just so we can stretch those hamstrings out right quick, I want you to do a quick forward fold. Tilt those hips up, drop the hands down to the floor. <sighs> I want you to tuck that head down. Take a couple of deep breaths. Exhale, push those fingers down to the floor. <sighs> yeah. Now, y'all not gonna like this, but we're gonna start off strong today. Because I feel like I have to get you while I have the chance. You know, if I let you guys sit too long, you get lazy. Right? So, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I want you on your knees. We're gonna start off with some planks today. How about that? Good thing I got you muted, huh? All right, here we go. We're gonna press those palms down into the pad. <laughs> We're gonna come down and we're holding those abs up, up tight. The abs are, when I say up tight, you say what I mean by that. When you're in a plank position, your lower abs have a tendency to drag on you. We're gonna tighten the upper abs, then tighten the lower abs. So when I say tighten the abs up high, these are the higher, the upper abs. But you can't really say tighten up upper because that don't make sense. All right, here we go. Lift those hips, straighten those arms out. Nice neutral neck looking straight down at the floor. All right, now we're gonna take a big deep breath in. I want you to exhale, lift that left leg up. Do not lift the hips up. We keep the hips down low and plank. Bring that left foot down. Exhale, lift that right up. Bring that right foot down. Stay here and plank. Tuck those elbows in, drop that body down. Come down to the floor. Flatten those feet out. Exhale as you push that upper body up. Now, you want to take the head all the way back. We want to give that lower back a chance. Right now, you might feel some discomfort. You should. Right, we're contracting the lower back. <sighs> Breathe through it. Take another couple of deep breaths. Push the head back. I want you to feel your abs stretch out, right? Yes, your lower back is contracting, but yes, the abs are stretching. Exhale, take the head back further. Hopefully by now you feel those abs engage. Man, that shit really feel good. Come on back to the center. We're gonna press those palms down, lift the hips back up, come back to all fours. All right, now, if the arms are straight, knees are underneath your hips, 
We're going to start by bending. Bend the left. The left knee. So we lift the right up. The left knee is bent. Make sure that the knee is under the hip. Take that right foot up. Keep that right knee bent. And lift it up as high as you can. Squeeze in the glute. Right? So if you have to look to see what it looks like, look now so that you can get back to having your head, neck, and chest nice and straight. Bring that knee back then. Here we go once again. Take a big deep breath in. Exhale. Squeeze and lift. We're lifting this right foot up, keeping that knee bent. Bring it back down. Exhale, lift it up. Bring it back down. Lift that left up. Squeeze. Now, if you have this knee bent, the higher you lift the leg, the more you're going to stretch out the lower abs because the lower abs are actually driving it. Come back down. Exhale, up, down. Exhale, up, 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 and down. We're moving into a rotating side plank. And I do want everybody to try it. I know I've heard from some of you guys that you don't like to do it or don't want to do it, but I'd like you to try. So to start, we're going to come up in plank pose. <clears throat> and then let's rotate to the left. So we're going to lay that right hand down. You're going to lift the hips up high. Lay the feet flat. Extend that left arm up. Push it all the way up to the ceiling. Hold, hold, hold. Drop it down overhead if you'd like. If you want an additional stretch, you don't have to. And then come on down. Come back to a straight plank. We're going to rotate to the left this time. All right, we're in that basic straight plank, tight abs. Let's rotate to the left. Make sure you're laying on the sides of your feet. Push that left arm up. Drop that arm overhead if you'd like. That right arm goes back up. Come on back. We're back in play. <laughs> Let's drop those knees down. Push the hips back into child's pose. Drop that head down. Come back up on your hands and knees. This is our last one, I promise. We're going to be doing some dolphin plank. So make sure you press those palms down in the peg. You need some straight arms. Rotate those elbows around for a nice strong arm. Curl those toes under. <clears throat> Try to neutralize the tension in the neck. Look straight down at the floor, about a foot in front of your fingers. Hold, hold, hold. Nice tight abs. Here we go. Let's take a big deep breath in. Exhale. Drop that head down. Tilt those hips up. Here we go. We're back down to neutral. Once again, exhale. Take those hips up. Drop that head down. <sighs> Come back to neutral, drop those knees, and come on down. All right, we're on the floor. We're going to get started with some rotating or twisted crunches. Twisted crunches. And when you hear the word crunch,
in the air. Exhale, come on, really propel your body forward. Go a little deeper than you did before. Now, when you're in a seated forward fold, the further you can reach out, which means if you can easily grab your toes, point those toes. You really want to stretch the shoulders out. Yes, this is an abs class, but we're also stretching through the shoulders and the lats and back. And consequently, if we drop that head down a little lower, you can actually stretch out some of the obliques on the side. But you gotta be able to reach. Just can't like sit here and hold this, you won't feel a thing. So grab those heels if you can, that's helpful. How about we release? Release, release, release. Now I want you to bend your knees. And we're gonna lower the upper body back about halfway, just about halfway. Right here, we're gonna stop. You're gonna give me a nice straight spine. Feet are on the floor. And you know, I don't know, if anybody brought some weight, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But if you wanna go a little deeper into this thing, go grab your dumbbell right quick if you have one handy. If you don't, no worries, you don't have to. You do have a dumbbell, we're gonna hold that weight right here. And if you don't, no problems, we're just gonna press the fingers together and we'll hold right here. But we're leaning back about halfway. We're gonna rotate, drop this right elbow down to the floor. So find that spot where the right elbow touches the floor. Now lift up, come back to the center, drop the left elbow down to the floor. Back to center, right. Center, left, center, right, center, left. Don't give up, just keep your breath moving, right? The abs are gonna stay tight because we're leaning back. This should not bother your back as long as you can rest. When you drop the elbow down, we're going to the right, center, left, center, right, center, left, Back to the center, roll that body back down. We're gonna take a few breaths here, try to relax the body. And what that means is when you breathe in, try to exhale, soften the body so that everything just kind of relaxes. You'll probably have some tension in the back because we're working the back. Just try to relax the back down, get the tension out. All right, that's good enough. Now we're back up. <laughs> hey, if you want to grab this dumbbell, if you've got one, get it. If not, we're doing the exact same thing we just did, except this time we're going to bring the feet off the floor, right? We're going to be balancing on those sit bones. And we've got our dumbbell in our hand. Here we go. Let's go right, center, left, center. Right, center, left, center. Now we're trying to keep the head, the neck, the chest stationary. We're only bending the arms, taking them down, down, right, left, right, center, left, center, right, right, and right, center, left, center. Roll that body back down again. Take a couple of deep breaths. Rest yourself. You get short rest periods in this class, unfortunately. All right, we're back in a seated position. Find those sit bones underneath you. We're gonna be working the upper abs and the lower abs this time. <clears throat> so you start by balancing your hips, roll the spine down, right? Hips are flat on the floor, shoulders flat on the floor. Put your right arm at your side. Take that left arm overhead. We're gonna be lifting this right leg up. It's gonna stay straight the entire time going up and coming down. This left arm is gonna stay straight going up and down. We're gonna touch in the middle. So we're gonna touch the fingertips to the toes. 
and I'd like you to lift your head and shoulders off the pad when you do it. So, line your body up straight, nice neutral neck, head, chest. Try not to rotate the head or the neck. Try to keep the entire upper body in a straight line, going straight up, straight down. Here we go, big deep breath in. Exhale, come up, touch the toe. I'm gonna hold here for just a second in case anybody needs to turn their head and look. We're going straight up, straight down. Here we go. Extend that leg straight down to the floor. Left arm comes down. Big deep breath in, exhale up. Inhale, come down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. I want you to breathe all the air out. Inhale, fully when you come down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Let's do four more. Up, down. Up, make sure you're touching those toes. Up, down, and up, and down. Now, if you cannot touch the toes, it's not because your belly is too fat. It's because the abs are not strong enough or else you're not putting in enough work. The abs do all the work, upper and lower. Take that right arm overhead. Take that left arm, left leg, excuse me, straight out. Right arm overhead, left leg out. Body's in a nice straight line. Big deep breath in. Exhale, be sure to lift the head and the shoulders. Come up. Inhale as you come down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up, push that foot up a little higher. Exhale up, drive that fingers, those right fingers forward. Come on, lift. You're squeezing upper abs, lower abs, contracting in the middle. Let's go take it up. Don't rush it now. Exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, last two, right here, give me two. Last one right here, touch those toes and come on down. Good job, take a couple of deep breaths. How about we bring those knees into the chest? Let's hug them kind of tight, stretch that lower back out, rock side to side, side to side. Put those feet down on the floor. We're getting ready to do some reverse crunches. Reverse crunches. I love a good reverse crunch. And I know that you do too. So, reverse crunches. You hear crunch? Hey, fake, put the knees up. And we're going to be rolling the body back. Now, in a reverse crunch, we are not trying to lift the legs up. So this is not what we are doing. We want to keep the knees bent. The knees stay bent in this position. We're just lifting the hips up, but the legs have got to stay tucked in. So it looks like this if you want to watch. We're up and down and up and down. Come on and go with me when you're ready. Now I suggest you leave those fingers on the floor. We use those fingers to kind of give us a little prop, right? Help us get up off the floor. And let's go. Let's take it up. Down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale, lift those knees. Let's see how far you can bring those knees in towards the body, which means how far you can get the hips up off the floor. Now this is our lower abs right here. The lower abs are doing all the work. And you know we need that. So bring them knees up and down. And up and down. And up and down. And maybe we'll do three more. Make sure the hips come off the floor. Two more, and this will be our last one. Up and down, put those feet on the floor. 
Let's close our eyes for a second. Take a little bit of a breather. Take a couple of really long, slow, deep breaths. And remember, when you exhale, push the shoulders into the pad. Push the hips into the pad. Try to get the tension out. When you stop, there's always going to be some contraction somewhere in your body. You want to try to relax the body at this point before we move on. into the pan. We're going to take this left hand over and we're going to place it over on your right shoulder. And we're going to lift this left leg up. Now we want this left leg to be no higher than your hip. So find where your hips are. When your legs are up here, I think you don't know how wide your hips are. So you want to down with a nice straight line going from your hip. And that left hand is on your right shoulder. Now we're gonna take this knee and we're gonna drive it down to the floor just like this. And I want you to bring it back. Now once we get started, this left leg stays up. We do not let it drop down. It stays up the entire time until we bend. So drive this knee in and bring it back. We're gonna extend that knee down, touch the elbow. Bring it all the way in, squeeze, touch that elbow. Extend the leg back out. So bring it in, take it out. We're in and out. So needless to say, we're exhaling when we bring that knee in towards the body. And then we come back. And the most important thing to remember about this particular exercise is you don't want the knee to go up in the air. So when you start doing this, then know you're doing something wrong. That knee should be driven in towards the floor. We'll do three more, two more, one more, let's keep that leg up. Don't drop it, it's not that heavy. Take the toes, point them down towards the floor. We're lifting straight up for eight. Let's go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold that leg up. Don't let it get heavy on you. We're gonna swing it around to the front. Bring the knee to the elbow with a nice straight leg. Don't bend the knee. Let's go, bring it up. Take it back, up. And back, up, and back. Don't let it scare you, right? Come on, all you gotta do is exhale. Ah, blow that air out, drive that leg up towards the elbow. How about three more, two more, and one more. We're getting ready to turn over on the other side. Now just a tip for some of you guys that were trying to do that, I can see you and I'm glad that I can. You cannot do this with your leg down. You really cannot. It may appear like it's easier, but it won't be. So if your leg is down here on the floor and you're trying to do this, it may seem easier, but it's not. You gotta keep that leg up. All right, so now we got that right leg up. Make sure you're on that left hip, right hand, left shoulder. Let's bring the knee towards the floor to start. Take it back up. Bring it down, extend it back up, let's go. Let's bring it in, touch that elbow. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Really work those obliques. I know you feel them squeeze at the top. Squeeze, squeeze. Two more, last one. Hold that leg up right here. Point the toe down. We want to work the back of that hip, not the front of the thigh. Let's lift, take it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep that leg up. 
We're swinging that leg around to the front. Now we're still working the right oblique squeeze. Here we go, bring them up and back. Up, up, up. Give me four more, that's all we need. Four, three, two, last one right here, one. And come on back. I want to do a quick oblique crossover. I don't know which direction is going to be easiest to see. I think I'll go this way at slant. <laughs> now with this exercise, what we're actually going to be doing is working the glutes because we're going to lift the legs straight up and we're going to cross over. This is going to stretch out and contract the obliques. So it's going to look like this. If you want to just take a peek right quick. We're going to extend this leg and we're going to lift, cross it over, lift it back up and bring it all the way around to the side. So it's lift, cross over, lift and bring it all the way out. A little more room here. All right, so we'll start with the left leg. Let's see what's going on. Here we go, take that left leg back. Let's lift it up, cross it over, lift it up, bring it out to the side. Take it back, lift, cross it over, lift, out to the side. Back, lift, cross it over, lift. Every time you lift that leg, you're squeezing the glutes. Lift, cross, lift, out to the side. Now this leg has gotta come far enough so you contract the obliques. Right? So just come in here, you're not gonna feel it. You want that leg up and squeeze. We're stretching the right side, contracting the left. Here we're gonna take that leg back, left, cross, left, out to the side. <sighs> Let's go, we'll do three more. Left, lift, 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 out, lift, cross, lift, and down. Let's do that other side right quick. Let's see what we're taking a nap. All right, let's lift those hips up. Come on, leg up in the air. Cross it over. Lift it back up. Out wide. Bring it around as far as you can. Yeah, I like that. Take it back, lift. Cross. Lift, out to the side. Swing that leg as far as you can. Don't hurt nobody, don't hurt yourself. Come on, lift that leg up, cross, lift, out to the side. Lift, cross, lift, out to the side. Lift, cross, lift, out to the side. Come on, squeeze on that lift. Cross over. Lift. Take it out to the side. Last one. Lift. Cross. Lift. And out to the side. Hey, good job. Proud of you. Let's turn over on that other side. I want you to roll your body all the way down to the floor. Come all the way down. We're gonna move into a bridge and we're gonna do a thrusting bridge. Like thrusting bridge, I didn't name it. So with a thrusting bridge, all I want you to remember is that we're moving from the spine. So first we're gonna start by elevating the hips and you're gonna roll the spine up starting with the tailbone. So we lift the hips, Right, the tailbone should be off the floor. We roll that spine all the way up until you're at the top of the shoulders. Now this is your basic bridge. We're squeezing the glutes, lifting the hips. But now we're gonna drop the hips down, but we drop the hips down from the top of the shoulders. So think in terms of that elongated spine. We're gonna roll that spine down, down, down. So that the tailbone hits the floor first, then the hips roll back into position. All right. 
Hopefully you guys. Take a big deep breath in. Let's roll that spine up. And then we're gonna drop that spine down. Remember when we drop that spine down, the final stop when the tailbone hits, we gotta roll these hips back into position, which would provide a little arch in the lower back. Now coming back up, flatten that lower spine, roll the spine all the way up. Start with the shoulders. Come on, roll that spine down. Roll it up. And then rip that up. Up, roll that spine back down. Roll it up, ah. and we're down. Now this time when you roll up, I want you to contract the lower abdominals. Just bear down on the abdominals. Don't hold your breath. Bear down on the abs. Roll it up, it's a little harder. And down, keep the tension. On those abdominals, roll up. Roll it down. Just bear down just a little bit on the abs and squeeze the glutes at the top. Shoulders, roll the spine down. Hips up, spine up. Two more, just give me two more. This is our last one. And we are up. Let's come up on those toes. I'd like you to grab your heels if you can, right? Try to get those knees back in line with the hips. Take a big deep breath in, exhale, squeeze the glutes, lift the hips. And you should feel a nice stretch through the quads. <sighs> exhale, let's come up a little bit higher. A little bit higher. And then slowly roll that spine back down. Fantastic. Keep the knees bent if you would. You're on your back. Now we're going to be coming up into a sit-up position, except I want you to keep your fingers on the floor. So we're actually going to sit up. We're going to take the fingers and touch the heels. So we take a big, deep breath in. Exhale, come up, just touch your heels, and then come back down. Exhale, left hand on your heels, come back down. Now, when you come up, invariably, it's going to rotate your body in that direction. When the body rotates in that direction, you're going to get a deeper contraction through the obliques. So, stay down, close to the floor. Here we go. Exhale up, inhale down. Left side, down. Right side, down, left, down, right, and left. Now the arms stay on the floor. You can lift the head and the shoulders up, right? You'll go a little deeper into the abs. You're already engaging the obliques. By lifting the head off the floor, you get those upper abs. But of course, if you're tired and you want to lay your head down and just move your arms, I'm okay with that too. You decide what you want. But make sure every time when you come back, you lay that head down, exhale up, and up, and up, and up. We'll just do about two more. Make sure you're touching those heels. Right side, left side, and right side. Lay that head and neck down. Let's give that head a little bit of a rest. Now, if that bothered your neck, even to the point where you couldn't complete it, just remember it's only because your neck muscles are not strong enough. So if you're coming to these classes and you want to get stronger, if that is your intent, you've got to keep doing it. When it's too much strain on your neck, rest it. But you got to give it a shot, right? You got That's the only way you're going to get to be a little bit stronger. So says I. Let's put our palms on the upper thighs. We're going to rest the wrist bones against those pelvis bones. We're going to take a big deep breath in, and I want you to exhale, lift the head, lift the shoulders, walk the fingers up to the top of the knees. Now, hopefully you know where the top of the knees are. Put your fingers on the top of the knees. 
And we're just going to hold here for just a second. If you're holding your breath, you're going to fatigue really quickly. And when you relax the abs, as soon as you loosen the abs, the fingers are going to slide down. So you got to keep those abs nice and tight. Try to keep the head neutral, looking forward. Push the fingers forward on every exhale. Just keep those fingers on the knees. Let's walk the fingers back down. Now I think we should try and count down together. We're gonna hold those fingers on the knees. Let's see, we'll count down from uh, 30. I'll take the even numbers, you take the odd numbers. When you are counting, you're gonna have to force that air out on the exhale. Count, just push the fingers up a little higher when you count, how about that? All right, those palms are in position. Let's exhale, walk those fingers up, 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 up. Make sure that head is pushed forward. Let's count down from 30, 28, 26, 24, 22, 20, 18, 16, 17, 15, 13, 11, 9, 7, 5, 4, 3, 3, 1. Let's walk them fingers down. And again, it's not stretching at all. Hey, the counting might be a little off, but don't worry about it. You just count to yourself. You got the odd numbers, count them out loud. Exhale fully. We're gonna do that one more time. Just make sure you keep the abs tight, fingers on the knees. Let's go. Exhale, rotate, walk the fingers up, 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 up. We're at the top of the knees. Hold those fingers up, keep the head up. Count them down, 40. 38, 36, count out loud, 34, 32, 30, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 21, 19, 17, 15, 13, 11, 10, 9, 6, 7, 4, 5, 3, 1. Awesome job. Bring that right knee into the chest. We're gonna extend that left leg. Take it all the way out. Now I need a straight left leg, toes pointed. It's as if we're trying to pull that leg away from the hip joint. I need you to switch. Extend that right leg, bring that left knee into the body and switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. See if you can't get the knees to the nose. And switch. And switch. And switch. Come on, give it a shot. Bring that knee all the way in. Send that leg all the way out. Last two right here. Right and left. Good job. Put both feet on the floor. Ah, let's extend those legs out in front of you. Drop those arms over to the side. Try to relax any tension in your body. Let me get you to flex those feet. Pull the feet in tight, tight, tight. Now don't flex and point, flex and hold. Let's squeeze those glutes. Come on, squeeze the glutes as tight as you can. Keep the feet flexed. Feet flexed, glutes tight. Elbows locked, arms at your side. Spread those fingers as wide as you can. Wider. Come on, spread the fingers wider, wider, wider. Squeeze the glutes, flex those feet. 
Now let's close our eyes, squeeze those eyes, flare the nostrils, clench your teeth, contract the muscles in your forehead, chin, neck, height. All the muscles are squeezing, hold tight, tight, even tighter, a little tighter, and release. I'm going to have to really call that. 